I'm Adam Rowe and I'm playing games, so it's Rowe playing games. Welcome back to Rowe playing games, everybody. I just defeated the cleric beast in the last episode. I'm so excited. I'm gonna do a yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I, I didn't think it was all that spectacular. No, I did die a few times. I'm not impressed. I um, I actually don't remember where I'm supposed to head next. But I'm gonna head to the Great Bridge where I killed the Cleric Beast. That's a good thing. And uh, I mopefully mean, find thing. out what I'm doing from there. Always head to the last place you killed the boss. Most. It's like, actually, most linear it's games. Like it's, I think of it as the first boss, but it's actually completely optional. Really? Yeah. Nah. No, just you like, can, just like, you uh, get some stuff from it. Just like most things in life, like uh, clothes or a job. Yeah. It's completely optional. Or hygiene. Totally optional. Totally. Totally. The noble dress. Ooh, maybe I can run around in a fancy dress. Right? Yeah. Ooh. I don't think there was... Is any... this where you last were? Oh, actually, can I? Nope. <laughs> yep, this is where I killed the beast. Kill the beast. So now, I'm gonna head down the... the stars. You know one, one criticism I have with this game? What's that? The the animation is beautiful, but I feel like if it all looks like this, it might get kind of like, at least to me, kind of like dull after a while. You know what's funny? Like, that actually, um, that does come up as discussion for this game. Because generally, like, the game is set in a city and stuff. And, like, it's, um, you know, it's a gray, dark color p palette, but, like, they do find way, like, you'll see as we progress, like, we're gonna go through more areas than just, like, the city. I was gonna say, like, after a while, just, like, that, like, tin sky looks great for a dark atmosphere, yeah. but... No, um, like, I guess, like, Dark Souls had a bit more variety. Like, you go to very many different places, whereas this is based in a specific city, but, like, I also haven't gotten that far in the game. Mm -hmm. But, um, no, they do, um, mix it up, like, after a while. Which like, is always good. I actually think Whoa, we're, um, you. we're about to head to the suit. Ow. Oh, yeah, I have a gun. And in, like, most... You said the sewers, right? Yeah. In most uh, dark fantasy or horror-related things, there's always some very yeah. lovely stuff in the sewers. Like this guy. Blit. Yeah. That's actually usually where the most disgusting things go. What like, about... Uh, you, you encounter slimes and... I and, don't remember if there's any of those in this game. Well, not in this game, but, like, in some RPGs, like, you... In, in the Dark sewers, Souls, there's slimes. Are they in the sewer? You yep. go in the sewer? Yep. You can kind of slime. I was actually uh, even saying, um, you haven't played Dark Souls, so you wouldn't know, but, um, this whole, like, starter area here, Old Yarn, reminds me a lot of the Undead Burg area. Which the is Undead the first, what? It's called the Undead Burg. Uh, it's, like, the first area you go to in Dark Souls. Burg. Never played Dark Souls 2. I think Burg, like, in German, literally means, like, town. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I never played Dark Souls 2. I've heard it's, like, a perfectly fine game. Like mechanic wise and I everything, know, um, and like it's like definitely like um, production wise, it's a much better game because like the, the first Dark Souls has like kind of a poor frame rate and stuff. Oh really? But like here it was I hear that was actually the more liked of the two though. Well, that's because um, like the first one, um, it, it just yeah, there's more creativity to it. Like you know you you fight tons of different things and you learn all this cool lore. Whereas, like, you know, I can't say too much about the second one because I haven't played it, but it just seems like you pretty much fight dudes in armor over and over again. Yeah, which might get... I can see that getting stagnant. Yeah. Now, Dark Souls, they have one, like, for the PS4 called Scholar of the First Sin that I looked at, but not knowing anything about it, I want to find out more before yeah, I... I think it's um, just Dark Souls 2 with DLC. Okay. You know what I do intend to pick up is the Reaper of Souls for PS4. Uh, which one? The, the, the Diablo Reaper of Souls. Yeah, for man. PS4. We should play that in the show. I do intend to pick that up. Oh. Is that? I shot him. Oh, wait, no, Re I have Isn't this. Reaper of Souls essentially Diablo 3 plus DLC? Yep. So, like, it's the version worth buying. So, yeah, I might trade in the one I have for PS3 and get the uh, get the PS4 yeah, Reaper of Souls. So, we could play it on here. I yeah. know. I'm all for for our next one shot, though it might. I don't know how lengthy the game is. Is oh, uh, it's Alien not, Isolation? It's not, oh, by uh, Alien? I don't know. But that could definitely be for a cool series. We'll have to look up the legality of it, oh, too. Yeah. I like, know Sega's the publisher, but I don't think they're the developer. Right, so who knows um, where they're uh, 
Whoop. Ow, I don't believe I, roll I don't away. believe they're the developer anyway. I know they're published. Uh, they're definitely their names on the case, but I think it's someone else who developed it. Does Sega actually do much developing anymore? I don't really know. Or do they just kind of uh, hire other guys. Like even uh, the Sonic games have been are usually made by other people, and some are definitely better than others. Oh yeah. Can I get down here now? Um. What was I gonna say? Uh. I will say this. Nope. Like, just like I've had a dry spell with decent anime, and for the even longer, for the many years, I've had a dry spell with decent horror games, because I'm a huge survival horror fan. And uh, I will say, Alien Isolation and The Evil Within are two of the best horror games I've played in yeah. ages, in if, my opinion. If not Alien Isolation, then I think The Evil Within would make a really cool playthrough. Yeah. Um, definitely. Maybe yeah, we could, you know, if they're both work, we could do both. Hell yeah, man. You know, be that those might be. I mean, it will be obviously not be as new, but those might be kind of a decent game to play around Halloween or. Uh, oh maybe. yeah, we do like a theme. Yeah. No, that could be a really good idea. I have them occasionally. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Like we could just play scary games. Hi, Dogly. You think this would make a good Halloween game? Uh yeah, well it's definitely got the dark we're atmosphere. We're playing now, so it's too late. But it's nice. It's actually a beautiful day where we are outside. And we had a really bad rainstorm yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, Tuesday, right? Yesterday was nice. Tuesday we had a bad rainstorm. Better to get it out of the way now than when we're recording. I uh I actually I don't know if we've ever talked about our our day jobs, but do you mind if I? Not good. We're get we're car pushers at Walmart, which everyone in the world pretty much knows what Walmart is, but uh. You might have heard of it. Yeah, I was I was caught out in the rain on a, I think Sunday. I got brutally rained on outside, which I don't mind the rain. I mean, I'm a I'm a. I kind of do. I mean, working in it is not the most comfortable if you don't have rain gear, but I don't let the rain get me down, and I love watching it from the inside. It's oh yeah, awesome. rain's beautiful. It's just working in it. It just like, like even even as out. a little kid, my my parents used to get really frustrated because I'd always want to play in the pouring rain. Yeah. And they'd be like, how can you, like, stay and be wet? Ow, I'm like, water's ow. water. What is really comfortable? I haven't done much traveling, but down south um, in the United States, where we are, obviously, uh, <laughs> the uh, warm rain is just wonderful, oh, like, yeah. honestly. Like, Florida, I've been all throughout the southeast, Florida, Georgia, Alabama, and the warm rain is so there. nice. That's a so nice. It is a so nice. So. I think I can sneak up on this guy. All right, everybody be quiet. Everyone shut up. Yeah. Stop breathing so heavily, Adam. I'm trying to sneak up on the. Yeah, it didn't help me that much. I think there are stealth attacks, but I always fail them. Oh, oh that shit! A gun, gun guy. Gun guy. Gunman. Gunman. Gunman Greg. <laughs> Gunman to go Greg. with um, what did we make up in an old one? Um, Friendy the Fiend or something. Friendo the. Friendo fiend. the Fiend. <laughs> I think I can actually. So the bodies don't despawn, do they? They just kind of yeah, stay there. They just kind of sit there. So if you leave an area and come back to it, do they still not Time despawn? Time for rolling. Thank you. Do they still not despawn if you like leave an area and come back like much later, or do they go on by then? I don't then? think so. I do think if you... um otherwise it'd be like littered with bodies. I think if you... Oh, we can get me from here up here, too. Great. But like if you like shut the game, like save and then shut it off. Oh, then I think they like... sometimes there'll be bodies and sometimes not. Oh, huh, weird. My brother, my older, the older of my two older brothers, dabbled in develop, developing games. Like, oh, yeah, it's a lot of work, man. Uh, he had, we had a bunch of people with him, working oh, with him, but he wasn't cool. just doing it by himself. But uh, it was cool because he taught me all these terms, like, you know, a mover is what they call, like, an object you ride on, like a horse, or... I actually didn't know that. And uh, it's not an official term, but he always called, like, the despawning engine for falling, um, for uh, falling, fallen enemies that made, like, their corpses despawn. He called it, like, the, uh, like cleanup engine or like the janitor that's cool as a slang because it like because obviously that's what it does because he did say like if you don't have an engine for that literally arenas get cluttered with bodies and even if it doesn't affect gameplay <laughs> it just it doesn't look all that good. yeah i mean it might sound cool look at all these people i kill but they get in the way after a while yeah ding there's so much that goes into making a game that's why i have so much respect for smaller single person developers Hell yeah man like, one of my favorite independent games that I really want to play in here at some point is Cave Story. Oh, yeah. One guy did that all by himself. And, like, he did a, he did a bang-up job. I mean, it's it looks like a retro game, but that's the point and that's the appeal. Yeah. I mean, oh, this guy's a friend. Is he? Yes. Um, first, I want to see if there's anything to loop around. I've noticed there's, like, coffins and caskets and stuff. Yeah, well, this place is plague-ridden. 
And I've noticed there's like chains around them too. Is that yeah. to keep like dead out? Uh, I think in? so. Kind of like a zombie. I noticed the battles kind of got chains around them too. Mm -hmm. Hello, Gandalf. Oh, you're a female Gandalf. Yeah, I scheduled poorly. New Anta. Old well, Hunter's Mark. Mark. Yay. I will. Everyone in this town is so depressed and negative. She speaks very slowly. I really want her outfit. Yeah. No, I'm not scared. Oh, she gave you more. I got a uh, an animation. A shake off cape. How do I? Uh, let's see. I don't know if I've ever actually used that one. Shake off cape. Oh, that's kind of cool. Does that like clean blood off you? I don't think so. I was gonna say. But, like, I will see you all next time on Pro Playing Games. Later. Beep, 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 beep. Like, comment, beep, 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 and subscribe. Beep, beep, beep.